welcome back welcome back and welcome back we're getting ready to make some barbecue nachos but this is the first start of it okay we got this brisket really good price we're going to use this um grill masters marinade water white wine vinegar and some cooking grease here's your shot of what we're getting ready to do to get it started because we got to let her marinate for a little bit. We're going to put it in the crock pot. All right? So let's get cooking. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get that marinade going. We're going to go ahead and put that into our little bowl here so we can mix it all up. So you can kind of see what it looks like. All right? So to this, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of water. I would say about two tablespoons. That seems about right. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our vinegar. And we're going to put in about two tablespoons of this as well. That seems about right. And then we're going to put in about a fourth a cup of this oil. works for me and then we're just gonna dish it up you can absolutely make your own marinade you can do whatever you want and to this I am gonna go ahead and add a line let me grab it okay I should have probably told you that from the jump but here we go the lime we're gonna get that juice of that lime in there I've told you a million times citrus fresh herbs just do something to a dish all right, and get the, all that good old juice in there. Oh yeah, get as much of it as you can in there. I'm gonna get as much as I can out this baby. Let me tell you, and then give it a kiss. Okay, then I'm going to bring, I'm using the crock pot bags. I've told you about these bags. I think they're wonderful. They make clean up, just absolutely marvelous. I should have grabbed a glove. She's just not got her stuff together today. Hold on. Okay, now we're going to take that marinade and we're going to pour it all over this brisket. And we're going to let it sit in the refrigerator. You can do it overnight. I'm gonna let mine sit for an hour. You can do as little as 30 minutes. That's fine, okay? I'm gonna get it all, that juice, all over that. And then I'm just gonna tie it up and put it in the refrigerator. So that's where it's gonna sit for the next hour and I'll be back. All right, now we've got that in there. I'm just gonna pour in this water, which was the rest of that bottle of water that we had. We're gonna turn this baby on low and we're gonna cook it nice and slow. All right, I'll be back in nine hours. It needs no other seasoning, no nothing. One, we're gonna be back in nine hours, nine hours, low and slow. I'll be back. All right, I've got that beef out the crock pot. As you can see, I cut it up real good and fine there. Just cut it up into pieces. You can slice yours, do it however you want. I'm going to use my barbecue sauce of choice. I love head country, which is real prominent down here in the Oklahoma area. I'm going to use some black beans. I'm going to rinse those off. I'm going to use these cantina style chips. Use any kind you want. Then I'm going to use the Kobe Jack. And I'm also going to use the mozzarella. And this is how we're going to make our barbecue nachos. Let's get bacon this time. I'll be right back. All right, the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is get that beef into a pan. All right, because I'm going to go ahead and add my barbecue sauce to this. And it is going to be delicious. Perfect for any game day. Holidays are coming. Perfect for that. You can just rip it apart or you can slice it up. You can do your beef any way you want, okay? I'm going to go in with about a cup. Okay, maybe a little more than a cup. 
I say about two cups of barbecue sauce. Mix it all up, and then I'm going to put this in the oven on 350. I'm going to let that barbecue sauce heat through. I don't want my sauce runny, okay, because I don't want my nachos to be runny. All right, so I'm just going to put just enough to coat that beef, and depending on what size your beef is, that's the way you want it. You don't want it to be runny. We don't want runny beef, all right? We do want the barbecue sauce coated through and through, but we do not want it runny. And as you can see, it's not runny at all. See? It's not runny, all right? So I'm gonna put this in the oven, 350. I'm gonna let it bake a little bit so that barbecue sauce can get good in there. So I'm gonna let it bake for about 30. We'll see, I'll probably go about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go 20 minutes in the oven. I'm gonna put a piece of foil on it, put a couple of holes so it can steam, the steam can release. But I'm gonna put that in there for 20 minutes. Then I'll come back and we'll start building these nachos. Then we gotta go back to the oven again. I'll be back. All right, 20 minutes, here's our barbecue. And you see what I mean when I say you don't want it soupy? You don't want to put too much. You can use juice and make sandwiches later. You know, that's fine. If you want to add a little bit more barbecue sauce. All right. And I've already got my chips laid out here. And I'm just going to take some of that barbecue and put it all over the place. Try not to put too many big chunks. And just spread it all about. That's what you want to do. This is absolutely delicious, let me tell you. Try it once. Another one of those dishes that we make this time of the year, you know, game time, holidays. And these are the kind of dishes that the kids love to get in on. Because they really feel like they're doing something, especially once the work has been done. So yes, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. And I won't be using all of the meat on this because, like I said, sandwiches later. Absolutely. Lunch time, dinner time, get you through the week time. Some meat here, a little meat there. Just spread the meat all about. You want to make sure you get it on as many as nachos as you can because you kind of want people to kind of have a bite of this delicious beef that we made in the crock pot overnight on every piece okay I think that's enough and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in and put some cheese on here I'm put on the glove so it doesn't get up my nails Monterey Jack and you can use, this is one of those dishes that's very versatile. Use anything you want. Any kind of cheese you want to use. I did need to do something first. And that was put them black beans on there. I meant to get those in there first. Because I want that up underneath that cheese. You can put corn on this if you want to. Black beans is enough for me. This is another one of those versatile dishes. No wrong way to do it. If you're going to eat it, that's the way your family likes it. That's how you make it. Now I'm going to go back to putting on that Kobe Jack cheese. You can make this baby as cheesy as you want. Or don't add cheese at all. Whatever is your fancy. If you're not a meat eater, you can just do this with the beans. Absolutely. Your food, your meal, you can do it any way you want to. And then we're going in with that mozzarella. And we're going to put this back into the oven. 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. I'm going to do mine for probably about 15 minutes on 350. And that should do the job. And then I'm going to top this with my avocado salsa. I have a previous video of how I've done that. I made it with some uh, mahi-mahi. So I'll try to remember to link that in here. But if I don't, that's where it was, with the mahi-mahi. But if you searched... In my videos, you'll see it. Look at that. Delicious. I'll be right back. And this is how she looks fresh out the oven. Yum, 
Yum. I'm telling you, better make some. Now I'm going to sprinkle some avocado sauce on top of this and make a plate and let you see what she looks like. Yummy. I'll be right back. And there she is. Look at that. Doesn't she look delicious? That avocado salsa. That's all you need at this point. And sour cream, if you want to put sour cream on it, is completely up to you. Things made easy with Gigi, I'm telling you, all day, every day. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. Gigi, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, you guys.